it's time to complete the dimensioning of those bolts. Previously, we stopped our work at the trying to figure out which bolts should be connected, which bolt should be merged on the same dimension line. And we obtained from the direction, uh, from the Z vector of those bolts, that those located at the bottom of those beams should be placed at the same dimension line. So we created the set and we know that two of them, those at the bottom, they should be merged. And now we have to tackle a little with the um, grasshopper trees, lists, etc. So maybe it will be not the most Tecla way of doing it, but now we have the set of elements and here is the mapping. So I'm not sure, let's see. I just want to get three lists. Yes, here it is. So now we obtained the merging matrix, the merging mapping. And why do we need that? Because now we can use it with, together with the list item, mm, the classical one. Now we knew the indices and we would like to group those bolts. So I will do some something very uh, not, <laughs> not good for your eyes. But now I have grouped those bolts together. I have the Tecla objects, they are grouped. And it's quite crucial to get it done like that because now it will be quite easy to merge those points, those positions. So I would like to uh, reuse this thing with those uh, geometries, with those points. But I will be not working at the previous instance of both properties, but I will create I will create uh, the next one. Probably it can be uh, it can be done in a more simple way, but now it has to be like that. And what I will get. Okay, so here it is. And you can see that there, there is no difference at this point. You, but if you look at the path of those trees, that there is a quite significant uh, chance that they are on the different levels. And if we would simplify it, then we are almost ready to match those uh, elements. So we should probably see what was that uh, previously. So let's use it uh, here, okay. And it was here, okay. So we have the list at the beginning, and then the tree at the beginning, and here, uh, and now. So previously, all of them were at the same level of the of, of the tree branching. So it was almost impossible to say how it should be merged, how those lists inside of the tree branches, how they should be merged. And now when we see quite specific which branches are at the same level, then it is quite easy or maybe a... Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, crazy to, to say that the, 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 the path, matter, path mapper is, is the easy component, but it is really powerful. What I would like to, to do, I would like to decrease the level of those trees. So I will start with just the flattening. And of course, it is too much of the flattening because now all of those elements are merged into a single list. So let's uh, go into the editor and say that when we have this kind of branch, branches in this tree, then we would like just to merge to the first path index. So we will not merge them all to the single list, but let's just stay with the first indices. And now you can see that we obtained what was needed. So now we have three lists of points. Uh, when the first one is the biggest one, it has eight elements because it is the group of two bolt arrays when every bolt array has four elements. So now we properly prepared the points for the, the dimensioning. And it was a little tough way. Maybe it can be done a little differently. I would like to hear it. I'm not the, the Grasshopper Pro user, but it works like like I've like shown and for this video it should be enough. So okay, so we have the points, great. Those points are related to this particular view. So we would like to create the dimension line and let's see what is needed for the dimension line. We need some view. Okay, it's quite easy because we had it somewhere here. Okay, 
So we have the view. Okay, we need the points. It's also quite easy. We have it here. We would like to insert three dimension lines at one shot. Okay, the dimension line attributes. Okay, we will specify just the um, standard ones without digging uh, too much into those. And the most crucial one, the location of the dimension line. So we have to say where exactly, into which line, this dimension should uh, be placed. And that's quite a hard question, because uh, who knows. But if we look what we currently obtained in the script, then we will see that there was the direction, but not this in the local coordinate system, but it was... where was it? It was here. So here it is the direction. So the vector into which the bolts are oriented. And the dimension line should be perpendicular to those directions. So we need some, uh, some vector operation and it can be done with the cross product. Here it is. So we have the... Let's make it maybe a little more clear for you because it, it, it looks like a jungle. So we have the vector, the first vector. So those are those vectors. I will just make it... Yeah, here it is. Okay. I would like to get the, the cross product. So orientated with the uh, 90 coordinate... with the 90 degrees at the plane. So here I have to specify the unit vector of the z. Here it is. Okay, so by doing it, if we would check what is the output, now we see that for those first bolt arrays, first two, which are merged, we will try to insert the dimension line horizontally. Great, it is exactly what we would like. And for the next two ones, it will be placed vertically. So, okay, this vector is exactly what we would like. So now we know one piece. We know where... Uh, this dimension line, maybe not to where, but with which vector it should be aligned. But here we have to specify the line, so we have to specify the point and the vector. So the question is uh, into which point it should be uh, located, and I will be quite lazy and I will just reuse those uh, points, but uh, let's just get the first from this list. Uh, it will be the list item. Okay, here it is, and by default it will take the, the zero coordinate, so the zero, sorry, the zero index, so here it is. So now we obtained some, some arbitrary point, I don't care wh what exactly, and uh, we would like just to make a little offset from that. So let's move those initial points with the, with the ball direction, it would be the easiest one. So the bold, bold, bold direction was here, and we can do it... Okay, so here we had those things coming from the set. Okay, I will, I will just get those from here and make just some addition. Uh, use addition component to move a little those points from the, from the original bold ones. So here what was... it was here... Okay, and now, okay, we have some problems because, okay, here we have the tree, here we have the list, so let's flatten it here, okay, and we see that now those points are a little different, just by the unit vector, it will be enough to make those dimensioning successful, successful, successful. Of course, there is the question into which side those dimensions should be placed, up or down, and here we are not treating the steel beam, so we don't know at this point what is the bounding box of it, where is the center, etc, etc. It's just a simple... Uh, a simple... Uh, a simple sample. Okay, so we have the point, the point for the line, and we will use the line SDL component, which needs the start location, so here it is, and the direction. And we see that we will insert the three-dimensional lines, but we have the four vectors, and the question is why? Let's see why. Because probably here is... yeah, we, we were operating on the initial geometry of those four bolts. But we can use those coming from the set. So here it is. And now I think that to make it a little simpler, we will use the same... Yep, here it is. So we have the directions, and let's connect that with that. 
Okay, so we have three vectors, although those dimensionalized, the horizontal, the vertical, vertical, three points. So we, as a result, we obtained three lines. Great. And now, oh sorry, <laughs> now we are ready to connect our set of three uh, list of points with those dimensions, and we obtain the three dimension lines. And of course, you could argue, and you you would be right that this dimension should be placed bottom, but we just use this cross product as a as a concrete value to make this offset uh, true, and. To make it more real, then you would need to query the, the prep or the mesh of the steel elements to get the proper feeling if those bolts are at the top or at the right or at the left or at the, at the, mm -hmm, at the yeah, left or right. Because now we were just assuming that those Z vectors, those direction of the bolts coming from the model, that they represent the truth. And for yeah, the truth, which truth? Uh, the, the, the truth of Tecla, yes, because if we would go back to the model and just use, I think that it is in almost every environment, very, very useful uh, stuff. It is the uh, uh, show coordinate system. Here it is. And it is working like that you are just triggering this component and selecting the object. So if I would select those bolts, then I would see, um, as you can see, the coordination system arrows, the red one across, along the, the beam, but what is the most important now is the Z direction. So the Z direction was exactly what we obtained with the direction from the bolt properties from the crossover Tecla drawing link. Here it is, the, the Z, and probably it was, we were a little, we had a luck <laughs> just to get it oriented uh, outside of the beam, because, because if you will be creating the drawing of this beam, then we would obtain the dimension for those balls at the second edge of the of the element. So it would be very uh, bad. So to make this script fully working for your case, you have to somehow figure out if the balls are on the right or on the left. And of course, it can be done in uh, different ways. So for example, let's just grab the length of the beam and if the coordinates of those bolts are more, which are bigger than the half length of the beam, then it is on the right, if less than on the left. But of course, it is uh, up to you how you would uh, make this script running for your case. I wanted just to show that there is the new things like the bolt properties, that this flow can be arranged with some Tecla original model components with the drawing components and with the grasshopper ones and if you uh, put all of them into the uh, into the uh, some witchcraft uh, stuff then you will get some script which will be useful or not it's up to you okay thank you for today and see you at the next occasion bye